can't read what happened to Justin Bird with Nimble Media TV's red carpet report. Tonight, we're at the premiere of Curse, and we're going to find out what three adjectives got to make red TV. Sarah's point is so, let me show you that. Okay. Sarah's Lee point is so. All right. With me is Sarah's Lee point is so. You know, I'm excited you're here because we're just talking about the uh, being color purple. I saw it recently on the big screen. Maybe I'll just say about a year ago. It really holds up. It's it's so many. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a legend. You know, classic. It'll be going on forever. Even as I in the ground, it'll still be running and going on. You know, people love it. Uh Oprah had uh the uh reunion of all the lead actors about a couple of weeks ago over there. You know, I was proud to be a part of the movie. You know, Oprah was big when she saw the movie, but she just reached another level. I mean, did you see that in her working with her on set? Well, actually, uh, I was her coach. Her acting coach? For the color purple. And uh, when I first met her, she was just like, she had she only in Chicago, and then after she got nominated, she got syndicated. But I was the acting coach for the audition, and you know, maybe that after that. That's amazing. I mean, I'm so interested just to watch the performances and everything else, um, and how poignant it is, and, and how heartbreaking uh, Whoopi Goldberg's character is. It's really amazing. Well, well, not only that, but a Kuchua, uh, who see, I hope I can answer that, and I can take her sister. If you, if you remember the scene when Danny kind of separates them, and it's like, she's trying to hold on to the phone, and he's beating on it, and she said, nothing can separate us, nothing. That was a great thing. I love, I love that thing. I love the thing with uh, Adolf Caesar, who's um, past now. But the thing when he comes on the board and says and talks about Sarah Gabriel, I think that is so great. Sarah Gabriel. Ah, uh, I was watching. Yeah. Amazing. You know, one of the things, you know, it was one of those things that was part of, um, it was part of the Academy of Motion Pictures series. It's great to be nominated. Many of you guys have the most nominations that did not win. And I always look back and think, sometimes they don't always get it right. And I kind of think that film maybe should have, it was great to be nominated, but I feel like it should have won a lot of big categories. Well, I think that had a lot to do with um, the public. You know, you know that time, uh, there, were, there was a lot of controversy about black little bad and they said that the film got to all bad. Well, you know, it's kind of hard when you nominate something and then you come up with, okay, this, the, the public said, oh, it's black and all bad. You know, why are they doing this? And then you nominate a film and then if you give them an award for it, then you kind of find like a green with, with the public. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a, it's all the like, be quiet. <laughs> well, it's interesting how politics does play into voting and awards and everything else. It's just kind of nonsense, but uh, it's one of those things that, you know, Alex Walker wrote this incredible novel. He just feel about creating an incredible movie. Yeah. And, and you guys create an incredible work. That's great. It's, it's, it's wonderful that it does take that time. But. Yeah, it does. It's not going to be a part of it. How amazing is that? I mean, does that just sound like it? I have a close up. I'm in the dream joint. Spielberg gave me a post up on it, just me and the screen, you know. So I'll be the only one in the screen for L. Bird. Like I said, when I pass away, I'll be there. Tell me that. What a pass. What a pass. What a career. And it's been a guy's career. It's got a lot of people's career start. You know, a lot of people got work after that. You know, even me, I'm still working right now. You know, I uh, just did three and a half seasons of everybody's been prepared. The role of Kill Moon, the uh, homeless guy. And uh, that was the greatest thing of all of us. Tell us one good nugget about Chris Rock. He's really quiet and kind of shy. I feel like. How can you get him out of Yeah, but he is. He's really quiet, but he's very creative. And um, I love the fact that he gives you a little leeway to try to do what you want. You know, him and uh, Ali Leroy, who's also producer, and Jim Michael, you know, they kind of like. Let me do that. So they give me the directions and then let me go. Well, they know your 